Warlord and his troops made it safely back to the hub. They came back to their home and that's where they imprisoned Flying Ball and started questioning him. Karsa and Tora the Fearless had a long talk with the man and Tora explained to him what Karsa is trying to do. At first Flying Ball was surprised to see Tora who he knew of as a bandit leader of the Band of Bones he was surprised to see her here at the side of Karsa. Even though Flying Ball was stubborn, he decided to listen to Karsa's words. And Karsa slowly explained his goal. Flying Ball wasn't happy to use Greenlanders and Skeletons and even Flimsy Hivers to remake the Shack Kingdom. But he had to admit he didn't have much of a choice. His goals have all fallen apart. Tora's goals have all fallen apart. And only Karsa was left standing as a true leader of Separatist movement in the Shack Kingdom. In the end, Flying Bull decided that he will help Karsa and Tora unseat a side of the Stone Golem. But Flying Bull wasn't the only of Kroll's chosen that they brought back. There was a man. A Shaq who fought so fiercely that he lost an arm and a leg before going down and succumbing to blood loss. Flying Bull admitted that this was one of his new recruits, a Shaq he didn't know much about but his name. He called himself Tyrant. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kenshi Genesis and welcome back to the story of Karsa, the Shaq Warlord. Say hello to our new uh, two recruits, Tyrant and of course Flying Bow, the, the big leader of Crawl's Chosen. Now Tyrant has joined us and we'll go through his uh, backstory a bit later, but first he needs to get himself an arm and a leg. What are you missing buddy? Left and right. So he needs a left arm and a right leg. Beautiful. You're gonna be our first uh, properly robotic shack. Look at that. Tyrant, welcome to the team. Now, he wanted to have a heavy weapon and we will give him this shack heavy ill wound. Because, you know, that, that kind of kind of fits the whole uh, the whole theme of him being a proper shack warrior. And Tyrant definitely is one of that. He was part of the cross chosen, the one we decided to recruit especially because he was missing limbs he's got really good stats as you can see compared to what we are doing so far and you get a med kit my friend and we're keeping him with the gear that he's been having uh, so far which is basically just standard grade uh, barbaric stuff that he's been using so let's give him that and he can get a backpack one of these that we have been basically using all of our friends so tyrant Welcome to the squad, as I said, we'll look into uh, what you have to tell us later on. I still am keeping these two because I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do with them. And Flying Bull, his stats are even better. 64 melee attack, he's in 51 strength, 56 toughness, his dex is at 38. Pretty good at stuff. And we're gonna give him this hacker, the Paladin's Cross that we've been uh, saving here for a while. He can grab that and I think he's gonna be absolutely destroying people with that blade I am I'm pretty sure that he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with uh, of course we're gonna give him one of the adventurers uh, rag sacks because well we all use that and he's gonna get a med kit as well so flying bull my friend I think you're gonna be you're gonna be quite a beast quite a beast he's he's slow these barbaric folds and all that stuff do slow him down. Uh, Tyrant isn't though. Interesting. Why isn't he? Why is he running fast? Oh, because he's got robotics, of course. I should have totally known that. In any case, Tyrant and Flying Bolt, welcome to the squad, boys. These guys are happily mining out here. Every time we come home, we do a bit of work out here, but really, uh, I, I'm not really focusing too much on all this. We're just we just do a bit that we can and. You know, call it good. Um, let's make sure that our rangers have the bolts that they need. Fuse, you too, buddy. Actually, Fuse got quite a few. Fuse, get back here. 
and load up on these. Uh, also, I wanted to give one of the thieves backpacks that we got. I'm just equipping everybody slowly with these. And this one goes on Cabal, so he can he can have one of these. I'm I'm happy using these, of course. Looks like we got some fighting going on. Excuse me. It's just a dust hound. All right. Now clearly, we the people we're recruiting now fighting out here in the border zone isn't isn't anything that we would want anymore because really uh we can't really get skills like there's there's 20 people over here now we are we're up to 20 so we need uh we need stronger groups to fight that's basically how it is stronger groups to fight and uh where can we get that well there's definitely options down south to the swamps and maybe the spider planes as well Karsha discussed his plans with Tora and Flying Bull, trying to decide what they should do next. When Flying Bull mentioned that down south in the Spider Plains there is another group of Shack Separatists. They are Berserkers, a bit more wild group of Shack, but still, there might be something to it. Maybe they should go and talk to them, or maybe see if they can persuade them with sword if not with words, and Karsa agreed. It is once again time to go out there, boys. Look at us, walking as a nice group, being led by Moosey. And yes, as I was uh, speaking, we're gonna go further down south. We're gonna go into the spider planes. We're gonna see what we can find about these uh, berserkers. Although I guess we can go through the swamps again. That would make sense. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go to Fresh Turtle. I think they should have, down in the swamps, they should have some uh, cheaper rice and such that we could buy. Because you can see, we're down to 56,000 cats. We've spent most of what we have earned through those prosthetics to just buy food for us. So, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna need to go uh, down south and we're gonna need to make sure that we can buy some cheaper food unless we want to go back out to the, to the Black Desert City and buy some stuff again. But I think first what we want to do is we're gonna go check uh, what is all this about Berserkers? Another Shack Separatist group? Who knows what we can find, right? Tyrant was one of the war leaders of the Shack Kingdom, leading powerful troops to war against all kinds of enemies. For ages he battled against those that opposed him. When it almost seemed like nothing could kill him, a Shaq scout came to him and told him about Catlon. The Shaq was instantly intrigued by this Catlon, so he made his way to the Ashlands with his best people in hopes of defeating his strongest opponent yet, Mad Catlon. They traveled for a while until one day they finally reached the Ashlands. Not soon after, he came across Catlon's dome. Whilst venturing further into these lands, he entered Catlon's dome and just saw him sitting there, alone. He thought it would be easy, but then Catlon told him things like that. The humans are the monsters, not me. Then he started screaming, and so his hundred thralls came barging in. The small group was overwhelmed quickly. The fight didn't last long. One by one, the powerful machines beat the shacks to oblivion. With only Tyrant remaining, he decided to run away so that he wouldn't die. But Asara didn't like this that he killed the best troops they had, as well as running away and leaving them to die. So, she exiled Tyrant, and left him outside of the city of Admech to die, with nothing left after losing his allies. As a Shaq, he still wants to fight, so he is looking for new people to band up with, in hopes of reliving those days as a powerful fighter, and maybe even overthrowing the Shaq kingdom for exiling him. Welcome to the squad, Tyrant. It is good to have you over here. Now, if you guys have read his updates, you know that he is doubtful about Karsa, about following Karsa, because Karsa is a Shaq without horns. And what is a Shaq without horns? He is nothing, in Tyrant's opinion, because that's how the Shaq Kingdom treats its warriors, its best warriors. If they fail, they lose the horns. But looks like Tyrant somehow managed to keep his, which is, I guess, good for him, even though he has been exiled. Now, Moosey, you lead us onwards to glory still. We're going towards Fresh Turtle, as it has been said. And uh, we're just uh, 
Just going onwards. Love the story, by the way, Tyrant. It's good stuff. I mean, the fact that you've been extremely powerful, we'll see how that uh, works. But I think it felt proper that, you know, him being such a powerful warrior, he would try to join Kroll's Chosen and that we would recruit him from there and that he would be the one that really fought to the last even losing an arm and a leg in the process being chopped apart by so many uh, fighters you know the traders guild us and everybody else uh, that he indeed where are you going Musi? jesus christ that he in the end did lose both of his limbs we'll see how he's gonna feel now uh, I'm definitely looking to an update to his story now that he's got prosthetics. I wonder what he thinks about that because that prosthetics was one of those things that Karsa wanted to introduce to Shaq Kingdom because so far, you know, Shaq Kingdom can't really make their own. They might buy some cheap crappy ones from the Hive from time to time, but most of the veterans, you know, they are expected to die on the battlefield, not come crawling back without limbs. So Tyron definitely got his second chance there with the new limbs. Hello, hello, swarm friends. We have arrived to buy your cheap food. Or hopefully cheaper food. Carsa, let's have you go in here into their big shop and let's see what they've got for us. Hello, hello, friend. How do you do? Show me thy goods. So yeah, look at that. Gohan, 25% cheaper. Rice? Not cheaper, though. So... Gohan it is. I guess we can buy rice as well because it's not very expensive. Uh, ration packs? You know what? Let's screw the ration packs. Do you want any of these? Straw hat we'll take. We can, uh, we can maybe make our own straw hats eventually. So whenever we need to go into, uh, into the, what's it called? The Deadlands again? We're gonna have that going for us, for us which is gonna be nice. Alright, Karsha, come back out here. Follow Moosey again. We got some food, which uh, seems good to me. And now let's make it down here to the spider planes. Yes, we will go through the swamps. It's it's normal. It's fine. Uh, we'll fight whatever we can fight along the way if uh, need be. Otherwise, we're just passing through over here. Going... That looked like he's... Moosey's gonna run directly into that giant tree. Luckily... Not the case. Speaking of fights in the swamps, swamp ninjas. Oh, uh, who is that? Double swamp ninjas? Boys, get them! Oh well, this this could be this could be a fight where we all go down though. Now I want to see how Flying Bull can uh, do with his weapon, or is he just gonna get shot constantly? Does he even get to swing it? Nope. He's just uh, constantly interrupted. Nope. You know what? Just attack him all. And even that has been blocked. Okay, you two. I need you to focus on their range boys. Because they are just fully interrupting us. We can't even fight them. Which is a bit of a problem. Oryx is down. So is Bug Up. Alright, you two focus on this one now. Tyrant is swinging. Good job. Well, we're, we're getting some more uh, boys down now. Beautiful. Looks like we took some more down over there, which is nice. Uh, Daryl is down now. It's acceptable. Shiva went down over here. Fuse is doing stupidities over here and actually fighting people. Fuse, did I ever allow you to do that? I don't remember. But looks like these, this set crumbled pretty fast. Perfect. Okay, so that's that's the bonus. The ninjas have almost no protection. Tyrant, Flying Bull, our new warriors. Not much there. Alright, you two get off of hold and go heal uh, people. No, no, I said heal people. Not stand there. Go, good job. Okay, well, do we have anybody in recovery coma? Daryl's gonna be up. Oryx, uh, she's got issues with blood and her leg got busted. Bug up is gonna be recovery coma. She uh, also got bled out. Rest in pieces. Well, we all know what uh, what it means if uh, we can't if we can't run because people are out in recovery coma. Then we go and we carry people. 
and you guys stop healing them. Excuse me, ninjas. Did I allow you to do this? Oh, they're slave traders. Uh, slave traders definitely need to... You two, fuck off. Come back here and hold. Definitely need to pick up our own friends then. Uh, Fuse, pick him up. Pick up Oryx. Uh, Uncle, grab Shiva. Blister, grab Bug Up. Come on. Shiva has not been enslaved. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> how, how was this so fast? Excuse the fuck over here. Slave traders, they just did a they could drive by on on her. Get him. Are you are you absolutely shitting me? You basically enslaved her before she was <laughs> you even got to her. Well, this is going to be dangerous now. Fuse bad fuse. Bad fuse. Shoot him. Oh, good, good, good. The swamp ninjas are helping us out. Love it. Shoot the slave boys. Not, not the rest. She went. <laughs> That's stupid, though. Like it took them less than a second to enslave her. If that isn't bullshit, I don't know what is. You know, give us at least a chance to, I don't know, do something. They were just like, "Yup, you're a slave now." Hibbity hobbity. You're now my property, or something like that, right? Fuck's sake. Ugh, you obnoxious pieces of garbage. Come over here. At least Daryl didn't get enslaved. Uh, Blister, could you please unlock her shackles now? She lost her straw sandals somewhere over there. Goddamn slavers! We did not agree that it could be like that. Right? Right. There you go, Shiva. Get your sandals back, and you're you're not a slave, okay? Don't let anybody tell you that you are. Welcome back to the world of the living. In fact, you're gonna you're gonna pick up one of these stupid slave mongers. You're gonna carry them with us. No, don't heal them, you silly biddies. All right, we're all carrying our friends now, and also our enemies. Strain training continues. That's how it is. Some of the slave boys have been enslaved by us now. To be thrown somewhere I don't know where uh, I don't think we're gonna go towards basking I do see a camp out here whose camp is this does bandits how injured are we when it comes to this do you want to go and fight the dust bandits sir dude you already lost a limb you really want to do this buddy you really want to do this it's not getting well for you all right good job uh, now, the thing is, what we could do is we could go and fight for that camp and then use that camp as our own sleeping area. Well, there is quite a few of them, and yes, we are pretty injured. I still think we can uh, we can deal with these dudes. Yeah, maybe we'll go for it. Hello, uh, friends. How do you do? Friendly dust bandits. Don't worry, we're just passing by. Or are we? Are we just passing by? No, we're not. Get them, boys. Alright, Fuse and Death Ops, you guys will drop down your people. Because I need you uh, need you fighting. Oryx is actually ready to fight, and so is Uncle. So, that's good. Actually, did they take Shiva's weapon? They fucking took Shiva's weapon. Oh, I forgot about that part. I mean, she's down already. <laughs> So it doesn't really matter uh, in this in this case. And we'll have to get her a new weapon. She didn't have a good one anyone uh, anyway, so this is fine. Bugabs are Kori Koma and Shiva is down. Uncle is going down again. I see a bunch of red over there. Not that I'm liking that too much. Did I see Beep go down? Beep did go down. Goddamn bandits now these two guys probably have terrible precision shooting right now because we are in darkness so if they could position themselves in a bit more uh light environment that'd be great see there you go start point blanking these dudes just shoot them in the nuts good stuff yes yes they're going down now tor is fighting in the water over there the other squad is going to be coming and they have a ranged boy over there as well. Take him out. Good shots, good shots. He shot Fuse, the bastard. Uh, looks like Cabal is also down. 
Yeah, these guys stand no chance against the might of our boys. They all went down. That's that's fine. We got this, guys. Swing. And let's go. Oh, they're trying to crawl away. Not allowed. Not allowed at all. We're gonna have to, of course, drop down all the slavers and all that stuff that we are carrying. So let's throw these people down on the ground. And we just shot Hyperion for 88, I feel like. It seems like that's uh, probably a terrible idea. How about you two guys come and uh, help healing out here? That seems like uh, it could be reasonable. Poor Shio went down again. Uh, Tyrant, can you please smack the slave boy? There you go. Chop him up. Let's make sure that Bug Up gets into the bed. Because he is the only one, I think, in recovery coma right now. So he definitely needs healing. There's not that many beds out here. These guys uh, didn't bring that many, but that's I guess that's fine. Let's put uh, let's put Darrow in here as well, because he seems to be having some issues. Let's put our people into these beds, please. Um, we don't have a space for Moosey. Beep, get back in here. Told you you should be in here. Uh, Fuse is already fighting. Fuse, who'd you see? That's mad the bass the bass bandit <laughs> the bass bandit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I I can't speak, but worry not. How about you two don't pull new people, huh? That would be acceptable. We can also drop down our four beds that we have over here. So let's do that. A blister. Go grab those beds. Where's Moosey? Where, where is Moosey? Oh, they're, they're here. They are here. Uh, who was supposed to be in this bed? Excuse me. Death Ops, you grab Cabal. Put him in here. Shiva, you were supposed to sleep over there, not stand up. There you go, we have these new beds. Death Ops. No, not Cabal. <laughs> Death Ops, you guard over there. Let's make sure our people who are hurt go and sleep it off. Looking into the swamps, Karsa didn't just see a waste. The greenery growing over here was something that could not compare to anything or anywhere in the world of Kenshi. This was a Greenland, something that his Shek were not used to. If they could go in here and tame this land, maybe just a tiny piece of this land, it could feed the whole of the Shek kingdom and more. It could feed them a lot better than the dusty stand desert could ever. Karsa saw potential in the swamp. If they could conquer it from the swampers, and all the bandits and wild beasts living in there, even a tiny piece, would feed them all. And that, that would be the future of Shack Kingdom. Oh, this is big. The I didn't notice, but these guys actually have repair kits. Now, isn't that lovely? Uh, where's the slavers that we brought over here? No, 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 no waking up, Swamp Ninjas. What are you trying to do over here? I said no waking up. There's the slaver. Okay. We didn't bring that many with us, which is unfortunate. I uh, should have tried looting them before, but uh, there's there's some people here that don't have repair kits, that have run out on repair kits. In fact, Ptolemy doesn't have a heal kit. Did I see a dog? Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. Go. Where's this? Where's this guy? Oh, and the dust bandits have food. You know what? I really need to remember to actually loot people more. I never do. We are getting so much food of these Das Bandits. I think that is something that uh, it should be removed from Genesis, uh, at least in my opinion, because especially when it comes to new players, at the start of the game, we all struggle with food, right? We struggle feeding our people. And now just fighting Das Bandits basically trivializes the uh, the food over here. Like it just it just it's it doesn't you know it doesn't help anybody learning the game learning to survive in a game if just fighting one of the weakest bandits out there in the world gives you all the food that you need to survive really really no point there and thank you for shooting hyperion again for a lot you two silly bitties who are we fighting now who are you what are you even doing stop that Go back to beds. Oh, do shoot that guy, though. 
Daphne shoot that guy. Uh, did I see big numbers over here? Oh, great. Now we have hyenas to fight. Awesome. Did we kill the slavers or take him down? We did. So that's good. Uh, I fear the hyenas are going to be a big problem in a second. Because the hyenas, as you can see, hurt like whole hell. Holy balls on the chopstick. Okay. No, 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 no. You're not getting to hit him for a hundred and fucking seven. The goddamn hyena. Stop it. Leave him be. Look at these pieces of shit. What is your range? They can just hit you from like a mile away? None of that. Fuse, you take them all. Stop, stop fighting us. No, you're shooting the wrong one, Fuse. Hit the one that's chasing you, dude. Jesus. Like these couple of hyenas basically took us down in a matter of seconds. <laughs> I, I fucking hate the wildlife out here. Oh yeah, shoot the, shoot the dog as well. Not the hyena. Trying to... Whatever it's doing right now. Moonwalking towards you. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Goddamn wildlife. Yeah. Totally, totally amazing. Yeah, just... Uh, just, uh, just, just eat them all. Mm-hmm. Seems reasonable. Seems fucking reasonable. Yeah, let them fight each other. Perfect, and Fuse, really need you shooting faster. How's these guys in bleed rate? You need to shoot this one first, because this one is ready to go out. You really need to read out faster though, dude. Like, absolutely need to read out faster, buddy. Come on, one shot, there you go. What one's down? Uh, I don't know who won in that hyena battle, the other hyena battle, but Fuse is winning this one. And I swear to God, if you hit him in the leg, I'm gonna be slightly upset. There you fucking go. Alright, I presume we're gonna have a lot of healing to do very soon before somebody dies. But I'm making sure these bastards don't get up and cause more issues uh, before we start healing. Alright, Fuse, start healing. Rothra is getting back up. Uh, Cabal, get off of your bed. Start healing people. Uh, Ptolemy, you too, buddy. Looks like some people were sleeping and the uh, hyenas ignored them. Shiva is up. Shiva, go heal people. Oh, you don't have any jobs? Why the fuck do you not have- Oh, because you were a slave, of course. Who else? Uh, we're healing these guys. You want a Hyperion are both down. Beep! Beep, you can crawl around. How about you fix your own leg first? You gotta heal, kid, still. Who else? Uh, Uncle can get up. Good thing we had some people sleeping, and those sleeping people didn't get uh, hit by these. And Moosey is up, but I don't think Moosey has learned to heal others quite yet. Well, um, I mean, we wanted to go meet the Berserkers. I think we're gonna spend the, the night at the swamps. Maybe we should... Uh, I don't know if... No, Fresh Turtle doesn't have a place where we could uh, rest up, so there's really no point. Oh boy. What? Who is it? Who are we fighting? Just the Swamp Ninjas? Alright, we don't care about these guys. Rack them. Destroy them. As long as it's not the stupid animals, we're good. And as long as it's not some cannibals coming in here, we are also good. Let's make sure to put people who are gonna be in recovery coma into beds. So, let's start picking these guys up. Oryx is doing the, the picking up. Grab Daryl. Throw him in here. You know? If we keep, keep on fighting, at least we have some people uh, that are gonna be chilling with us. Bugup got completely wrecked. Poor Bugup, he's down to minus a lot. <laughs> Throw him into the bed. Thank you. I hear dogs, I don't like the idea of that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here's one we didn't loot. Move. Move. Fuse, did you shoot, beep? Come on, bro. God damn it. God damn hyenas, why are you shooting Beep, man? Oh, poor Beep. I mean, surprisingly, Beep hasn't lost any of his limbs yet, so I guess that's all good. It looks like a lot of our shack went down to bloodlust this time around. Basically means they, they fought longer, because they have more HP, but then their uh, blood kind of gave out, so... There you go, we brought them all to beds. I think only recovery coma that we have going on... Oh, these guys are waking up. 
Only recovery coma that we have going on would be on Death Ops and Bug Up. It's not the worst. Oh, it's uh, it's one of the settlers. Okay. This guy came over here to, to chill with us and got absolutely obliterated. Fun, isn't it? She well, let's find if there is a weapon that you could use out here from these dudes. You know, cuz kind of you, you lost your weapon. I guess there's there's more food we can grab from these guys. Uh, what's your skills? You don't really have any skills to speak of. Well, at least you got food now, though. <laughs> oh my god. There is so much food on these stupid bandits. Uh, no. No, none of that. You guys don't get to heal each other. Shiva punching the nuts. I was hoping maybe one of the bandits would have a polearm that you could use. Karsha. Back into bed. Back into bed. Uh, that's a friendly dog running over there, so that's good. Somebody got up from that bed, though. Who was in this bed? Hey, Guild of Surgeons is passing by. Uh, boys, do you have... No, 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 no plastic surgery. What do you got? Just one standard first aid kit, huh? Sorry, sir, that's really, really not good enough. You want more? Uh, let's give one to Rothra, because we are really running out of these. Really running out of these with how many injuries we have constantly going on, so... This ain't good, boys. Stop. Stop shooting us, you dicks. We're all friends over here. So I think the best we can do uh, is get away from here. <laughs> right now. And since we are decently close... We can go to the way station over here. I think that is gonna be our goal. And we can all sleep and heal over there. And only Beep is gonna carry Bug Up, because of course Beep is the strongest warrior, so he he gets to carry Bug Up. Clearly the adventures in the swamps are are gonna be dangerous. There is more fighting back there. We are uh getting out right now. But this is good. We need to do more fighting in the swamps. Of course, if we can, we need to do more fighting in the swamps in an area where we have an easy escape to a place where we can heal. So maybe like around here where we have easy access to the way station would be best. But otherwise, uh, I like this because we need fights where we go down. Of course, fights against the dogs are not that good because if you go down in three hits, you don't really level up any skills. What we want and what we need is opponents that last long while we also last long. And I gotta remember to buy a weapon for poor Shiva who lost her previous one. Sure, the swamps were fertile, but clearly they were also extremely dangerous. There was so much wildlife in there, so many different kinds of bandits and even slavers prowling the murky wastes. So many different factions. It was too dangerous for them right now. But Karsha had to admit, it was a good place to train their skills and test their metal in combat. So he was sure they will get back in there very, very often. For now, even though they didn't quite make it to the spider planes where the berserkers apparently live, they can always go there another day. They can go there tomorrow and fight another day. Karsa wasn't worried. In fact, he was happy that he got to be in a fight with his friends on his side again. He was happy to feel alive while fighting and then having a good drink at the bar while the rest of the boys heal up. Tomorrow is another day. Berserkers can wait.